inside the National Infantry Museum, they've got what they call the gallery of armor and cavalry uh, artifacts, and this guy put it all together, and this is a very rare, very rare vehicle here. Talk to me about this white. This is a 1916 white armored car. It's the only one of its kind that was built to Rock Island Arsenal. It was also used during the Punitive Expedition in 1916 and then later on stayed there during the First World War after the Zimmerman note in Mexico might have gotten involved. Uh, after that it went back up to Aberdeen Proving Ground and then eventually became part of the Army Museum system. She sat outside literally until about a year ago when she came to us and we did our restoration magic on her to turn her into what she is currently today. Well, you, and you have others. I mean, in the gallery, of course, it's the armor and cavalry uh, showcase here at Fort Benning, but you also have another key vehicle that you just recently moved in on display. Tell us about the M17. We've got a American M1917 light tank. It's an American version of the French Renault that we acquired in our collection in 1948. And it was basically a gutted vehicle. One of the projects we were looking at was trying to recreate the interior, so it's not a full restoration. It's a resto modification with basically re-engineered components for both the gun system, the internal fire control systems, as well as the firewall, ammunition racks, and most of the other interior components. Well, you know, Lynn, you've done such a superb job of laying out the gallery here. I mean, you go from uh, the Mexican War all the way up through current uh, the today, actually, and tell me a little bit about what folks can see in this gallery within the museum. It was to give a snapshot history from the Continental Line through all the different wars, and it's broken up into basically four primary galleries. So the first one is the horse cab, second one gets into World War I and the introduction of the tank element and starts tying that in together. The third gallery goes into World War II. And of course, one of the problems, we wanted to put a Sherman tank in there, couldn't get it in the door, so we had to settle for a Stuart tank. Um, found some great pictures from the Louisiana Maneuver showing horse cav and the tanks working together, so we used that as a backdrop. Then the fourth gallery goes into the Cold War, hitting Vietnam, Korea, Desert Storm, and all the other current actions. And so we've got an M113 from Vietnam in that gallery.